In today's video, I'll be walking you guys through everything you need to know about the masking tools in CapCut PC. And also I'll be showing you guys with practical examples on how to use these masking effect tools. All right guys, let's get started. And today's video is sponsored by my homies on Patreon. And thanks so much guys for supporting this dream. If you want to be part of my Patreon, you can check on the link down below. And through that, you'll get early access to all the videos I'll be putting on here on YouTube. All right guys, let's go straight to it. So I'm going to be using these two cards to illustrate what the masking tool does in CapCut PC. So the table is going to be our timeline. When you drag in video one, it's going to take over the timeline. Then when you drag video two on top of video one in your timeline, it's going to cover video one. So what the masking tool does is, let me bring in scissors to show you guys. So what the masking tool does is, it makes it possible for you to see video one through the transparent part of video two. So this video two, as you can see, there's one masking effect tool in CapCut PC. And in CapCut PC, we have six masking effect tools that split, frame stripe, circle, rectangle, heart, and star. Now I'll take you guys to the desktop to show you guys with practical examples on how you can be using this masking effect tools. So I use this mask tool to create this clone effect and also use it to fade in some vectors and also images. And also you can be using it to show before and after of a color grading or an effect. So this was a clone video I recorded. If you want to see how to create clone videos, I will leave a card up here. You can check on that later on. So with this, I'm just going to cut the beginning part of, let me just trim this side off. Then go to where I was working away, B for the blade tool and cut that side. And then go to where the second character comes in. Take your case out there, Command B or Control B to make a cut there. Let's delete this side, we don't need that. And then drag this on top of it. So this is now an overlay video, that's video two and this is video one. Then when you click on the top video, that's our video two, you go to the right side, on video, click on mask. And the first mask tool we're gonna use is split. So click on that and right there you can see split the video into two. So this is our video two and this is video one. And this is the transparent part of video two. And using the masking tool, we are able to see video one that's below video two. So with this clone effect, I'm just gonna rotate it to this very angle. Then I'm just going to drag it to this very side. And then when you use this icon, you can easily fade it in. Or you can also use it on this very side. That's the fader. It controls this very icon. And now when I play and show you guys. So now to use this mask tool to show before and after of an effect or color grading. As you can see on the timeline, this video one and this video two. Video one has no colors in them showing I've not done any color grading on that. And video two has already color graded. So I'm just gonna drag it and drop on top of video one. Click on video two that's on top of video one. Go to the right side, click on video. Then click on mask and click on split. Then rotate it to 90 degrees on the screen. And let's just drag it to this very side on the screen. Now just click on this reverse icon. That's one cool thing about this masking tool. This reverse icon, when I click on that, you can see, let me just drag this in the middle so you can see it easily. When you click on this reverse icon, it's gonna flip the mask to the opposite side. So when you look carefully, let me click again and show you guys. The masking was showing on this side. So when I click on reverse, it's gonna flip and show on the other side of the video. Now let me just drag it to this very side. So then take your playhead to the very beginning side. We want it to start from the beginning. Still make sure you click on the top video, that's video two, and make a keyframe on position. If you wanna see videos on keyframe, I'll leave a card up here. I did a video already on that. Then go somewhere in the middle, and make another keyframe on position. Then this time around, on the second keyframe, we're just gonna drag the split tool to this very side. Now, let me play and show you guys. It comes in nice and clean. So you can be using this to show your before and after of any effect or your color grading. 
so with this mask effect i use it to create this letterbox that makes your videos look cinematic also i use it to create this cool split screens so these are videos already in the timeline click on the first video go to the right side and click on mask then click on film stripe and right there you can see it creates this mask effect showing the transparent part of this very video then i'm just going to stretch it to this very side so when you look in the movies usually they have this black bars on this top side and also the bottom side that makes it look cool and cinematic and make sure you have the size in your head so you can repeat it on all of your videos so with the size it's 1740 so i'm going to click on this video click on film stripe put in the same figures and i'm going to do it for these very two videos too now when you look in the timeline all the videos are having this top black bars and also at the bottom black bars which makes your videos very cinematic also one cool thing about this letterbox is let me show you guys take your playhead to the starting of it then go to the right side still under mask make a keyframe on size then go somewhere here on the timeline and make another keyframe on size now use this very arrow to go to the previous keyframe we created and as you can see it takes us right to that very keyframe then on size i can use the on screen and stretch it to this very side now i'll play and show you guys how it looks like so you can see it gives you this cool intro cinematic look that's gonna give this animation at the top and also at the bottom also another cool way of using the foam stripe mask effect let me drag this on top of this very one and drag this two on top of this one now let me just trim this to make it the same length as all of them and now click somewhere here in the timeline anywhere on the timeline and then click on modify then make sure you have free layer turned on mine is already turned on and click on save so wherever we place these videos in any layer it's going to stay there without really changing it in the basic side on the timeline so now I have these three videos this is going to be video three video two and video one and right there you can see video three is taking cover of all these videos so we can see the rest of the videos and this is why we use the masking tools so we can be able to see all the other videos below that very video now let me just click on the top one press v to disable it and click on this very one press v to disable it too let's just work with this down one first click on that and we want it to be on the left side of the screen so i'm just going to drag it to this very side then click on this middle one press v to enable it and then i'm just going to drag it to this very side i just want to see her face then click on the top one press v to enable it and then go to the right side click on mask and click on film stripe now we're just going to rotate it to 90 degrees and then i'm just going to increase it a bit so right there you can see we create this cool split screen that you can be using in your edit and one cool thing about this tool is let me just click on the top one and click on this very icon and then rotate it a little bit to this very side and now as you can see on the screen it looks very cool and clean and you can be using it in your wedding videos or your travel videos this masking tool is one of my favorites. I use it a lot in my edit. In the timeline are these two videos. There's a screen recording and also there's a talking head video you're gonna use. So we just drag this video on top of the screen recording. Then with the top video, that's our second video selected. Go to the right side, click on mask and then select circle mask. Now use these four dots on this side to increase the circle size don't use this side when you use you're going to ruin the shape of it unless if you're going for that very shape so i'll just increase it a bit and then make sure i put myself or place myself in the center then click on basic on the right side of the software reduce the scale of it a little bit and then you can place it anywhere on the screen so i'm just going to place myself on this very side and now i'll play and show you guys so that's one method of using the circle mask tool and now you can use the circle mask tool to do your background transitions i saw Dhruv Rati, the guy from india using this trick a lot so with this we have two videos in the timeline 
we're gonna make a duplicate of this very video. Press option and drag upwards. Then click on the down video, press V to disable it for now and click on the top video. Go to the right side, click on cutout. Then click on auto cutout. So we can just remove the background of this very video. Now click on the down video, press V to enable it. We're gonna lift this video from that very timeline. So this video will come right on this side. So now this is gonna be in our main timeline and this two is gonna be our overlay videos. So with this transition, we're gonna place it in this very video. That's the second video, cause that's the one that's having the background. Let me show you guys. Click on the top one, press V. You can see this one is having the background. So click on that very one, go to the right side and click on mask. Then click on circle and right there you can see it's gonna give you this look. Let's just reduce the size of it a little bit to this very side and increase the feather a bit more. Then click on the top one and press V to enable it. And right from there, you cannot see it. We're gonna work on this. So click on this middle video, go to the right side and click on this reverse icon. This is gonna reverse the mask as we talked earlier on in this video. Then take your playhead to somewhere here that you want the transition to happen and make sure you've selected the middle video. Then on size, make a keyframe on that side. Then let's take our playhead to somewhere here in the timeline. So make sure you've selected the middle video and go to size and make a keyframe on that side. Now let's just use the on-screen controls and increase it to a class video in the timeline. So now I'll play and show you guys how it looks like. You can see it transitions very clean and easy from the background of this very video to this very video in the timeline. So in the timeline, we have these two videos. I'm just gonna drag this second video on top of video one. Now with this, let me go to somewhere here in the timeline and I just wanna select this part of this very video to show on top of this video one. So with this, we're gonna use the rectangle masking tool to make it easy to create that. Just click on the top one, go to mask and click on rectangle. Then we're just gonna use rectangle to select that very part of that screen. Then click on basic and then we can just drag it to anywhere on the screen that we want it to show and also we can reduce the size of it. So I'm just going to place it somewhere here. Now let me just trim this side off. I don't really need that. And with this we can easily create some drop shadow on this very one too. Press option and drag upwards. Then with the down video selected, go to the on screen and just move it to this side of the screen. Then go to video, click on that, scroll up on opacity. Let's just reduce it a bit more. And now to make this effect really sell too, we can just go to the left side, click on effect, go to favorites and drag blur on top of that very one. So the blur is gonna be on this very down one. Now with that, I can just increase the blur a little bit more. Now you can just select all right click that and create a compound clip now with the compound clip selected go to the right side click on animation and we want it to come in from this side of the screen so i'm just going to use slide left and then i'm just going to increase the duration of it so it will come in very slow so now when i play and show you guys it comes in nice and clean on this side of the screen and now the hat and the star mask tool, it works the same with the rectangle and also with the circle shape. When you go through and follow the same procedure, you can easily be using that same effect on that. Now, if you wanna know how to edit like pro YouTubers, check on this playlist and catch you guys on the next one. Peace.